So we're about to meet up with uh, my friend Joe, and he is a skater that designed a thing called the Light Phone, which we're going to go find out about. But it's essentially a stripped down, bare basics phone as an alternative to your iPhone that does everything and wipes your ass and all the bells and whistles. And he also is good friends with Stefan Janowski, and I believe he worked on a project or two with him. So we're going to go check out the Light Phone, ask him about the Stefan Janowski thing, and yeah, see what he's up to these days. There he is, hey, hey, hey. the light man himself. Up, Good to see you, Doug. Nice. Hell yeah, should we check it out? I've been in this loft here basically since 2008, so almost like 13 or 14 years, um, and I had a roommate for the majority of that, uh, but now I've been able to move my art studio back in and basically live and work here most days. I mean, I think it's interesting to think back to like all the weekends I'd spend like coming into the city as a kid and just even in school skating every day after school or on the weekend and how no one was really like on their phone. My little crew of skater friends, you know, we wanted to make a video like everyone kind of did and we got some ginormous VHS cameras, and we made ourselves a little video, and then it was actually through that that I kind of made a skateboard company called Five on That, uh, and it really was my introduction to screen printing, photography, video making, editing, and you know all the things that I kind of love to do now as an artist and adult all kind of originated from skateboarding. really was thinking a lot about how the smartphone kind of infiltrated our lives in a way that we weren't really expecting. You know, everyone kind of got a smartphone because, oh, I can FaceTime grandma, but uh, what ended up happening was we were all checking our email uh, and social media before we got out of bed. Uh, and so the light phone was really, in my mind, a kind of artistic statement and reminder that like we don't have to be so constantly tethered. This is the packaging for the original light phone, which really only had nine speed dials and only made phone calls. And the idea was that it was kind of like a complimentary device to your smartphone. You'd go light, leave your smartphone at home. And the original light phone is really the size of a credit card and just a few stacked. And this is where the light phone idea really started and it's kind of evolved now into the, the light phone too. What do you think your peak of skating was? I think I might be best right now. Really? Which like makes no sense because I like haven't skated a flat bar in fucking forever. But uh, just in terms of like speed, I think and like. First try off the deck. besides five on that? Yeah, I mean, little things here and there when life extension happened. I made a site for Nick uh, when they were doing uh, whatever LE. Yeah, I got paid in weed and like five pairs of Converse or something. That's incredible. Stefan Janowski and I have done a couple of things over the years, but uh, we made an animation when his mid-top shoe came out, uh, like 2D paper animation. He's all the voiceovers, him, Jessica, and I, just like winter break, uh, lots of red wine. It was awesome. I mean, we skate together, but it's cool because like when he had the Beeble Park in uh, Cali and we would get vibed out together. We'd show up and it's like Malto and like the whole Chris Cole and all these people. And he's like, do you want to skate here? I'm like, no. <laughs> kind of worked. I'm not used to- I got that emo hair swag going on right now. I'm not used to skating without a hat. <laughs> what do you enjoy most about what you're doing right now? I think that it's having like a tangible impact on people's lives. Like obviously it's a pretty niche phone, but the people that use it are getting four hours of their life back. And then that's turning into all sorts of positive changes, whether that's like, hey, you know, I realized I wanted to quit my job and go back to school or 
I, you know, wanted to start learning the piano or pick up my art practice or use the camera that's been sitting on the shelf collecting dust because I have a smartphone. Uh, Do you think you were a little early? Like too early maybe? Oh, definitely. Uh, the light phone was a little ahead of its time and it probably still is to some degree. At first there was a lot of like, this is the dumbest idea ever. And now it's a lot more, ooh, I wish I could do that, but I probably could never. <laughs> I think the world needs an option. When there's one billion people on smartphones and every single phone that comes out is more or less the same exact big glass rectangle, I think people are gonna want another way, uh, for sure.